Hello! How are you? It's Jenny from Ginger Ninja Crafts here with my Halloweeny cat ears on. I've resisted the urge to go full on nose, whiskers, etc. You get the idea. Um, so I am here with the first Halloween project for the Autumn and Halloween collaboration. This is, um, it's the third video, but the first Halloween one. It's hosted by lovely Lisa at Crafting Diva. You'll find her channel linked in the title for this video. And there are eight, 10 other crafters, apart from Lisa and myself, that are all joining in and you'll find all of those channels listed in the description box for this video so once you've watched this video if you're in the mood for some more halloween crafting ideas hop on over to that list and start watching if you haven't seen the autumn projects that people need you definitely should because there is some gorgeous things paper crafting other types of crafting fabulous so what am I making today? Well, it is what I've made, and I'm going to show you how to do it, is a little um, sort of Happy Meal folio thing. So it opens up like that. You can fold it like that to post it. So that's as kind of flat as it's going to get. Um, or you can fold it up like this. And it's ideal for ATCs, ATC coins, um, twin sheets, little bundles of stickers or embellishments, anything kind of reasonably flat. So have I got an ATC? I do. So for example, I can just slot a little ATC in there. Have I got any ATC coins? going to pause this video and then lower you down so you can see the desk and I will show you what I did. See you in a moment. Okay so the one I've shown you um, which is very Halloweeny is made with black card stock but for the purposes of demonstration I'm going to do one with white just because it's really hard to see when you're scoring and things on black. So, I'm going to cut a piece of cardstock um, that measures 11 inches in length and 6 and a half inches in width. Scoreboard. Where have I put my scoreboard? Here it is. I treated myself to a new scoreboard because my other one, everything I tried to do on it was just kind of rubbish. It didn't work, so I treated myself. Um, so I just got some eBay, and I have to say, so far, so good. So the first score is on the shorter side. I'm going to score at four inches it's going to make my pocket and then i'm going to rotate it round and i'm going to score at the first one is two and three quarters and then five and a half and then eight and a quarter okay I don't think you can see that there. So that was two and three quarters, five and a half, and eight and a quarter. And then I'm just going to do a bit of folding. And this pocket bit now. 
I'll say I've used thin card because I'm going to decorate it and that will bulk it up. But I find when you want something not too heavy um, and not too bulky to fold up. So I think this is about, about a 180 GSM or something. I don't know what that is in, in American. What do you have? Pounds, don't you? I don't know what that is. Okay, so there's this is my little bit, and I need to cut my pockets now. So, from the score line, I am just going to, for the purposes of this, draw a line down that so you can see that a bit more easily. Then I'm going to mark one inch at either end and draw a line. One inch, one inch, and then I'm going to draw that line there because this is going to be inside of the pocket, which you will never see. Now, again, just for the purposes of this, I'm going to draw down these lines that I've scored, just the bit that's inside the pocket. And I'm only doing this bit just so it's easier for you to see. So now I'm going to take this corner into that one inch. I'm going to draw that line there. This line here. And then that one there. And that one there. Okay, now I've got some scissors. Now, we all have our different preferences for scissors, don't we? What I'm going to do is use my long scissors for these, these big lines here. Because I find them easier giving me a straight line. So I'm going to cut that out there. So you've got these little diagonal pockets. Again, just gives it a bit less bulk. Okay, like so. Now, I need to also cut up here. Now, what I'm doing is just kind of cutting on either side of the score so I'm just taking out you see that just a little strip like that okay this side I'm gonna swap to my big scissors because it's longer than the bleed and I just find it helps me get a and then just snip that out there and then like so I feel like I need to just take a little bit more out of that side so there we go so that is the main structure of the pockets you can see there they fold up but obviously as you can see here I have done some matting and layering so, I've used two different um, patterns of papers for the inside and then a different one on the front, but you could do whatever you like. Um, so, these pieces inside the pockets on the back, you want to cut four pieces of whichever kind of patterned paper you like. As I say, I've gone for two of the orange one and two of the black. These measure two and a half width by three inches so they don't go right the way down to the bottom you can see there just enough that you you think it does um so i'm going to pause and i'm going to cut some of those okay so i've got these two different patterns 
these are going to fit in here and I just decided to this paper goes a bit fluffy so I'm just getting rid of those fluffy edges the bottom doesn't matter and then I've got a corner punch now if I was making it on this white I would um, ink around a bit but I'm just giving you the idea on this one so that would go there this one in here you get the idea now for the pockets because it's at an angle that's slightly more complicated so I cut myself a little template and you can see I can use it that way or I can flip it and use it that way so this template is a two first of all I cut myself a square that measured two and a half inches by two and a quarter inches and then I measured up three quarters of an inch and I cut that diagonal side there and I'm just going to cut that like so it's not perfect but it's the best i could do um, so for this pattern i want i want wood going this way Like so. Oh no. Oh no, I've done it wrong. I'll need to swap them over. See? I think you're smart, but you're not. Like so. So again, just measure the same way. And that's going to go there and then I need to flip it over the other direction and cut that pattern so it's going to sit there with that one one of them and let's do this other one here okay so there's that one to go on so I would stick those all on and then imagine that's all stuck down I would stick along these long edges of these pockets either with the thinnest of thin bits of double sided tape or a little bit of wet glue so you just I've just stuck down one edge so you can see there it's just gives you a little bit more wiggle room for putting things in now these panels on the front they measure i think these were whoops centimeters yep two and a half inches wide by three and three quarter inches long and again i've just rounded the corner now you could decorate the back as well but because i'm using these for little happy meal bundles i have left the back blank and I, this is where i'm going to write my wee note and although it's black card if you use either a white gel pen or like i've done here for my measurements that is a gold metallic silver metallic would work too 
then you can do that and just make sure it's dry before you flip it over. So that is my little Halloween folio. This is the measurements. Is that in? There you go. So if you wanted to take a wee screenshot for the basis, um, the base of the folio, then you can do. So that was six and a half inches by 11 inches, scored at 4 inches along the bottom there, then it scored at 2 and 3 quarter inches, 5 and a half inches and 8 and a quarter inches. And then you make the pockets just by measuring out at 1 inch and doing a diagonal zigzag into that 1 inch point and then cutting out these triangles here and cutting a very little channel there and there and a longer channel there. So I hope that makes sense. I'm not the best at tutorials. If you're going to have a go at making these, please let me know in the comments and I can check it out. Um, I mean, it's not a particularly Halloween project. It's only because I've decorated it up to be Halloween. -y. You could do more decorating. You could pop some little... Um, spooky stamping along here or whatever and um, but as i say it's just the right size for an atc an atc coin maybe some stickers or some um little embellishments anything that's quite flat would fit in really nicely and then it could fit in an envelope so thank you so much for watching. As I say, please go and check out all the love, all the other lovely crafters, and I will see you again very soon. Have a lovely weekend. Bye.